everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting another looser painting, this time a door with some flowers and I think this will be quite fun. I did make my sketch earlier so I will also make a sketch available for you for download from my website. There is a link down in the description box so go ahead and check it out and download it for yourself. I am using a masking fluid to mask a couple of uh, leaf branches going onto my doors. That will make it quite easier. If you don't have a masking fluid, you can definitely do it without. And later on, maybe mix in some gouache with green to paint in those leaves. Or maybe paint them before you paint the door. And then when painting the door, just try to avoid those leaves. Next thing I did is prevent the, uh, the entire paper except for where the doors are and with this light brownish color I've just tapped in the pigment here and there around the doors and then mixed in a little bit of black in it and then tapped it again here and there just to make it to make some diversity some texture into my wall. Now with the uh, green I'm just again tapping in the paint on the upper part where my greenery is gonna be this is, I guess, ivy. And I'm just again tapping in with the tip of my brush, with the belly of my brush, just to add some different textures. I'm not doing uh, any horizontal or vertical strokes because I don't want to wash. I do want it to have a texture. So I'm just pressing my brush onto my paper and adding that texture like that. And right now I'm just again sprinkling some paint and while everything is still wet, I'm painting in the flowers. And that is here, uh, it is important that the paper is still wet around those flowers. So just check it. If it's not pre-wet, it's just slightly around your pot, around those flowers in the pot. And then start to paint in the flowers because we do want to those flowers to bleed into the background. It will give her a little bit looser look and I think it will look a little bit nicer. As you can see right now how it just spreads and I do believe it just gives it a little bit more of that looseness, a little bit more of playfulness. And first I started with a lighter red, lighter pink and then added on top just a little bit more vibrant pink and then a darker one, a more saturated color into some parts of it to make them slightly darker, mostly on the lower part of my flowers. A little bit more sprinkles for the leaves. That is something I'm just doing this. Uh, I just go along and I see what is missing, what I find is missing on my uh, paper, on my painting. So I'm adding here and there, just going back and forth to my flowers, to the ivy and just adding a little bit more pigment, tapping in or sprinkling. Uh, now I've just added the leaves to the pot flowers and again I'm just not really trying to paint in any particular leaves. I'm just tapping in uh, with my brush again some greenery and not trying to um, connect at all. I don't want it to all be connected because it, it will just be one green blob and so that's the reason why I'm leaving also some parts, some spots white. And then on top I've added a little bit darker green and then uh, as the last layer I've added mix of black and brownish color for the darkest, for the darkest shadows and also for the soil in my pots. Again with that mix of brownish and black and just a little bit of blue, I am adding some shadows around the pots and also on the stairs. With grey that I got from mixing some brown and blue, I'm painting in the doorway and I'm painting a little bit darker upper part that is in shadow from the ivy and also the left side. For the door, at first I am using mix of blue, a brownish color and black to paint in the lightest shades for my doors, then a little bit more saturated pigment to paint in the part that would be in a shadow from the ivy and from the doorway. And also a little bit of uh, black. I've added a little bit more of black and brown again into that blue and tapped in for even darker shadows. Thank you. 
afterwards I just left it all to dry completely but you for this step you can actually do that before it dries just maybe use your towel and pick up the paint here and there while it is still wet because when I left it when it dried I found that there was just too dark in some places so I decided to pick up a little bit of the paint but if you notice that while your paint is still wet you can do that while it's wet it will be I guess easier and because those are wooden doors they would have a texture and they wouldn't be just smooth as a maybe plastic is so that is the reason why I wanted to pick up the paint just to give it a little bit more of that diversity to it now with a well I've started with a with a round brush but you can definitely paint those bricks with a flat brush I was thinking that would be definitely easy so I picked up this flat smaller brush and again mix of brown and black and a little bit of the blue to paint in the bricks and as you can see I'm not really trying to paint them perfectly I'm just tapping in with the tip of my brush going downwards and making them well making the impression for the bricks in the upper part I paint them slightly lighter and also on the left side also paint them slightly lighter and I did not also paint all the bricks just some of them skipping some and that will give it definitely a looser effect now with again that black and brown mix I'm painting in a little bit more texture to the doorway and darkening also some parts I'm using a little bit lighter color for the right side because that side is uh, directly in the sun and it's not so much in the shadow. A little bit more of the shadows and a little bit more texture to the lower part of the door and just beneath the door I'm painting in one darker line to make it look as though the doors are ending there and that is something that we see inside the house. Also a little bit more with a flat brush uh, lines well I guess I'm not really trying to make one straight line I'm just again tapping with the tip of my brush and making uh, in, on purpose that line broken and not even because I do want it to look as though there are some wooden boards there and because those doors are quite old and those maybe they have some uh, cracks here and there so the that light that line and just between those doors is not perfectly straight also a little bit more of the details to the flowers i'm sprinkling in from time to time i'm just adding sprinkles with uh, with that pink color because it is as it dries it becomes uh, one even wash more and more so i'm just adding with that uh, beautiful vibrant pink i'm just adding topping with the tip of my brush and adding a little bit more of the flowers the impression of the flowers for the pot i used something like raw sienna and a little bit of yellow color and again a little bit more darker brown for the side where which is in the shadow and now with well i guess my fingers um rubbing off the masking fluid so you can rub it off also with maybe an eraser or maybe a tissue but you know I've, that is how I usually do that with with my fingers so that is how I did it here and just with the tip of my brush again I've tapped in the lighter that is I think sap green I tapped in the lighter green and then on top just not on each but on some of them I've added a little bit of the darker green and also some parts I did again leave white I did not really being careful to paint every single leaf a little bit more of the splatters and now with this ink pen I'm just adding a little bit more of the lines between those doorways making it separated making it look as though there are a little bit maybe more layers to those doors and also a little bit more details to the pot just where I see fit and I'm not gonna go all around my painting with the with that ink pen just just here and there where I see fit to add those those lines and with the darker brown mix of brown and black again I'm adding a little bit more of the texture to those stairs
Again, a little bit more of the sprinkles, just add them until you're happy with your flowers. And of course, with your ivy, I'm tapping in some a little bit more of the green and also sprinkling a little bit more of the green. And with that, I'll be finishing off this painting and this video. I hope you liked it. Quite fun and easy loose painting. I hope you're enjoying this loose painting mine and please do comment if you do like them should I do more of them I'm just in this loose phase I guess right now so I do love to paint a little bit looser and again thank you so much for watching if you do like this video please hit the like button share it comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that really means a lot to me maybe consider joining my channel that's the join next to the subscribe well click on that listen to the offer and the side again guys thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye